Erin Purcell. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry at Old Dominion University. My background, uh, my PhD was in protein biochemistry and biophysics, studying uh, signal transduction proteins. I'm interested ultimately in designing new antibiotics and antibacterial treatments. So this seemed like a department with a really broad range of expertise. I teach uh, intermediate biochemistry uh, for juniors and seniors. I rotate between a couple of different graduate level courses, uh, usually focused on signal transduction. I study uh, signal transduction pathways in a bacterium called Clostridioides difficile, or C. diff. It's a human pathogen. And we're studying pathways that contribute to its very high levels of antibiotic resistance. I've had several undergraduate researchers in my lab uh, contributing to the broader projects of looking at signal transduction pathways that contribute to antibiotic resistance in C. difficile. Uh, undergraduates have done cloning projects to express proteins in E. coli so we can study them, figure out how they work. I have had seven graduate students, four of whom have graduated so far, and we've all been working on the broader project of studying nucleotide signaling and stress resistance and stress survival in C. difficile. My, my graduate students have discovered that C. difficile has a novel mechanism for making a conserved signaling molecule. It does a lot of things in a non-conserved way. And so my graduate students have really identified some points of biological difference between C. diff and other bacteria that we're hoping we can use as a way to design treatments that would be really specific against C. diff and spare good bacteria in the body. And because it's a human pathogen, stress means being attacked by the immune system or having to deal with antibiotic treatments. So learning about how that bacteria survives those stresses is how we can design treatments, ultimately design treatments that the bacteria can't survive. So that is you know, the real significance of my research.